Hello everybody, uh, this is East Tennessee Preparedness. Uh, as you can see we have the chicken coop and the chicken run complete. Uh, had a lot of help from my ex-wife and my boys. A lot of staples in this stupid thing. So if they die this year, it's not going to be from lack of effort. Well, let's see, still got them under a heat lamp. Let's go and take a look at them. I guess if I make enough videos, I really should get a better camera than my phone. Some of the eggs, fresh eggs our neighbor gave us. I don't know why they're out here though. Say hello girls, you're on YouTube. Still got quite a bit of food, need to get them some fresh water. Have 10 chicks, all looking good. Been shy. Uh, we're supposed to have a couple of, a few more chilly nights this week, so I'll probably leave them under the heat lamp until at least Saturday. Uh, there's their nesting boxes. Don't have any straw put in them yet. Let's take a look. And then, like I say, we're going to use this half for storage. Extra chicken wire in case I want to increase the size of the run, which I'll probably have to as they get older. Still not much of a carton that door's hard to shut. Uh, last year we tried chickens and I believe possums and raccoons got to them. So if you can tell this year, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Bought some uh, plywood at Lowe's and they sent me out one that looks like a dead burn new. It's warped. Put a lock on here later, not for neighbors, but for the raccoons. So there's a nesting box, little handle. Not too bad a deal. We'll go show you the garden. Uh, we, excuse me, been putting up some fencing today. We mowed today, which is always good during allergy season. I've been sneezing like a madman. Uh, supposed to get some storms in a few days, so hopefully no more trees will fall. Cause I know there's a couple of dead ones right down here over the garden. You can see it up there. Doesn't look too good. But we're getting stuff uh, coming up. Built another potato box. Like I say, we started the fencing, but I ran out of fencing. So I have to go get another row. Uh, just planted that one yesterday. See, the beans are really starting to do, do pretty good, I think. Like I said, we mowed them through grass in here today, but right there, you can see the cabbage coming up. I put them at the end of the potato boxes. Just didn't want to waste any space. I'm limited on how much I can do. Some more cabbage right there. Now, all these right here are green beans. You can see right here, I don't know if you can, let me slow down. Squash. Uh, the zucchini is starting to show just a little bit. Move the drip hose off of that. And there's another one. Here are the cucumbers. They've sprouted up pretty well. More green beans in these three garden beds. So. Really taking shape this week. Uh, squash over here, not really seeing much yet. Let's look. Like I say, tomatoes, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but they're starting to come along nicely. I'm not my, I've never been too good at growing tomatoes, so hopefully I'll get some this year. Like I say, my stepson's corn. Now we got, at the end, we got carrots in three of them. I haven't seen any carrots. I've never tried to go grow carrots before, so. And we put some jalapenos and cucumbers in here. I'm not really seeing right there. See a little sprout coming through right there. This one's going to be hard to weed, and it's hard to, to weed eat and stuff around it. And I started a new compost bin. Uh, straw out of the chicken coops grass clippings, leaves, what else we got in there? Eggshells, coffee grounds, so 
like I say, the ground up here is not very conducive to growing garden. So hopefully between the straw bales decomposing and the compost bins and the other dirt we have, maybe we can actually do a regular garden. Now you see there's some mushrooms in these straw bales. And that that's a good sign. That means that the insides of the straw bales are decomposing, and that's what you want. But even on days it doesn't rain, I watered or turned the water on these drip hoses for an hour this morning. They soak up the moisture, so you have to water them every day. So that's it. Uh, for some reason, the kids aren't down here today, or the dogs. So I don't know. But everybody have a great day. I hope everybody's doing something to get ready for this fall and winter because I think we're going to be in for some struggles with the food supply. So hopefully you can, and hopefully if you can, you are doing something. But this is East Tennessee Preparedness. Uh, you guys have a great day. Adios.